All right, this one's gonna be on creating your own auto start script. Um, in the past, I used the uh, i3 Talent Wins Manager, and that's where I get this idea from there. Uh, they used it one um, configuration files to configure all their hotkeys and auto start uh, programs. Let me show you how it looks like in here. I think I still have my uh, i3 somewhere in here. Right, they have like this uh, configuration file and all your hotkeys in here and all your um, you know, uh, programs that you want to start up, you can do it in here. And I always liked it that, but once I went back to like XFCE, um, the way that you would do, you know, your auto start is, uh, you have to use this fucking GUI here. I'll show you here. And it's so annoying. It's so slow. Um, you know, you have to do in here, you have to add the fucking thing. God forbid you have to like edit this damn thing. You have to do it one by one. Check the damn boxes. Uh, it's really slow, right? I mean, if you're like a new user and you like to use the GUI, then hey, this is no problem for you. But for me, it's just too slow. So what I did was uh, I basically just created a, a script, a bash script. And uh, this one, I, I call it, uh, what was that? So you add a new one. What did I run here? So I gave it a name, uh, auto start script, whatever. And I uh, gave it the location of where it's located at here. So this one's called dot auto start RC here. And basically, it's just a bash script. Uh, so make sure you have it, you know, set to execute and everything. But inside that, uh, what is that here? Like I said, it's a bash script here. So make sure you have your shebang line for um, the bash uh, header. And in here, you just type out, uh, you know, all the commands that you want to run. Like in here, I have my, I use a TV as my monitor. I got like a 32 inch uh, for my monitor here. But uh, if I ever need to fix it, uh, like uh, if you have a, a, a TV for a monitor, sometimes they have like an offset or they call it was an underscan or whatever. And you need to fix that. So on and so forth. So I did that in here. If I need to load up some other programs, I can do that in here. Uh, if I need to load some daemons, I can do it in here, like my transmission for my torrents. You know, um, and these are like my server daemons. Like uh, my caliber for comics and porn and all that. And it's much convenient in here when I can use it, you know, do my Vim work uh, real quick from the, uh, you know, the command line. Instead of like busting out that, uh, you know, this fucking thing every time. Really annoying. And imagine if you had to do a lot of these. Look at that. You actually have to add it. Click OK a bunch of times. A waste of fucking time. Uh, but this one is only for like startup applications. I'll show you another video for like a hotkeys uh, Because you know in, in the one I said for i3 they can do uh, startup applications and hotkeys So this one is only for uh, startup programs. I'll show you another one for uh, hotkeys in another video But anyways, that's what I do in here uh, Pretty simple just create a batch script like I said and uh, add that to your auto startup for the last time and then just use this file and uh, this one can work with, um, you know, any of the non-Tiling Windows Manager. Because if you're using a Tiling Windows Manager, you're pretty much doing the configurations already. But uh, if you're using like XFC, KDE, GNOME, uh, what is that, Maze or whatever, they're all using like a GUI like I just showed you earlier. Um, and that thing is annoying. So if you want to do something like that, uh, all you gotta do is, you know, add a uh, bash script to the all start. And uh, from here, you can use like a Vim or whatever text editor you want to use and edit from here. And the good thing about this is that it's portable, you know. You can actually just uh, put the file later on if you're, maybe you're doing a backup or something like that. Uh, instead of using, let's bust that out one more time here. There's no way to back this, this thing up. So let's say if you had a lot of these uh, saved up in here. There's no way to back this thing up. Look at this. You would actually have to type it again if you had like to restore your, uh, your, uh, you know, your operating system and everything, or your distribution. I mean, uh, you would have to do this manually again. Adding this fucking thing again and again is really annoying. But this one, I saved it all in my file here, and all I gotta do is just add, uh, you know, just one thing in here again, and it will have the script, and it will run all my. Uh, uh, startup applications that I want to run, um, you know, any distribution I'm on, I, I want to run the same uh, type of programs again. So that's another way if it's more portable, because you can actually save this uh, to a text file uh, and then save it somewhere. 
anyways that's my, my little tip for you if you're using one of those uh, distributions that's like non tiling windows manager where you don't have a configurations uh, you can still do it and there you go that's uh, my solution for this that'd be it for this one